In this video, we're going over how to use the Fitbit Lux for beginners. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'm walking you through how to use the Fitbit Lux for beginners. We're gonna start with just the initial setup. You need to take the charger out of the box and make sure it's plugged in to a USB port, either a computer or a wall outlet. And we're just gonna connect the back piece this is gonna initially turn it on. And once it gets power, you can then um, sync it to your device. Now I have a phone here. And I'm going to um, download the Fitbit app. Now this is an Android phone, but don't worry, you'll be able to use it with an Android or with a uh, iPhone. It will work with both just fine. So our Fitbit app is uh, installing now, just about done. And once it installs, we'll need to go to the app so that it can link uh, up with our Fitbit here. So final install here. We're gonna tap the open button. And if you have a Fitbit account, you would just tap log in. If you don't have one, you'll need to tap on the join Fitbit icon right here. I'm gonna hit join and I'll take a few seconds and set up an account and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we've downloaded the Fitbit app. We've created our account and next it's asking us to select the device that we're setting up, which is gonna be the Lux. We're gonna tap setup, swipe up, hit accept, hit next. We'll need to enable location just temporarily now the issue should get a pop-up saying that it's found your Fitbit Lux. We're gonna hit set up. Hit set up, swipe up again, accept, next. And you might have uh, some extra settings you might need to adjust. So location permissions and also the background permissions. We'll just tap here and it will take you to the pop-up. You'll need to allow that always. Hit done. And now it's found our Fitbit. We're gonna to need to enter the same number we see on the screen here. And it looks like the pairing has been successful. Um, so once the pairing is done, we will do a basic walkthrough of the device, uh, then, or how to navigate the device, then after we will jump back over to the app and show you how to adjust your settings to make sure you're getting all your notifications and you know how to change the watch face. We're gonna hit pair. This is the final step here. Linking the Bluetooth together, press okay. Okay. So our next step here is asking if you want to purchase additional protection for your Fitbit, which covers if it's damaged, if it uh, is malfunctioning due to a spill or water. I'm going to hit not now. Um, next, uh, you will need to update the software and this will take a few minutes. So you'll just tap install now. And the cool thing is while it downloads, it will still allow you to continue with the setup so we can go through and see some of the different options that are available. So you've got your stress management and tracking, fitness activity, sleep tracker, health metrics, notifications, and your watch faces. So a lot of different options are gonna be available. Once the update is fully complete, you will get a pop-up, the green button at the bottom that will allow you to continue through to your settings. Hit next. Uh, at this point, you would be putting it on to learn the basics of how it works. I'm gonna walk you through a lot of that, so don't worry. You're all set. All right. Now, this is one cool thing to keep in mind. Um, the Lux does come with a six month trial of the Fitbit Premium. So if you wanna take advantage of the uh, extended features like the daily readiness for workouts, stress management, mindfulness sessions and the sleep core data, um, you'll need to select one of these options, for example, the start my six month trial. Uh, I'm going to opt out of the trial altogether. 
hit the X here, and I want to go right to the Fitbit app. So our Fitbit is set up and ready. So let's talk about uh, the basics first of just navigating it, and then we will go back to the phone after to tweak our settings. So this is our main screen. Now um, let's start with swiping down from the top of the screen. This will take you to uh, some of the shortcut settings. So let's go all the way to the top. So you'll have your settings option there, your water lock, which is when you want to swim. Um, you can set it so the screen won't go haywire when it's in water. Now the screen wake feature, screen auto is here. So this is whenever it's on your wrist, when you turn your wrist, when you turn your wrist, the screen will come on and show you the time. Um, and if you don't want that on, you can just tap it to turn it off, but basically putting it on manual and then tap it again to go back to auto. So some people uh, inadvertently turn this off by accident. So simply just um, swiping up is how you get to this option here. Got your sleep mode, do not disturb. So again, main screen, I just swiped down first to get there. There's all those options. Now if I swipe up, this is where I get to my fitness data. So I can see how many steps I've taken, how much battery life I have left, uh, the distance I've gone, my active minutes, uh, how many calories I've burnt, your heart rate, your resting heart rate, everything, sleep, all of that, all your uh, data broken down throughout the day is going to be in that option. So again, swiping down are different shortcuts to settings and swiping up from the home screen are going to take you to all their fitness data. Now, if you tap on the screen, uh, depending on which uh, watch face you're using, it usually will get you um, more data. So for example, if I tap on the screen here, it's showing the date, Monday the 21st. If I tap the screen, now it's showing active minutes. Tap it again, my steps, tap it again, heart rate. So you can tap the screen to toggle between the different settings of that watch face. Now different watch faces will allow you to access different data, so keep that in mind. Later on in the video, I'll show you how to uh, download different watch faces so you can see what different options you would have. Notice tapping the screen two times will wake up the screen automatically if you need to see it. If you swipe right, it's taking you through the menu. Basically swiping left and right do the same thing. So if I'm at the main screen, if I swipe left, it's just taking me to um, a loop of all the settings. So notifications it'll show first, swipe over, I can do my exercise, I can start it uh, manually here. Um, my relaxation, alarms, timers, back to clock. If I go the other way, same thing, it just goes in reverse. So left and right don't do anything special, they just take you to a loop of the different menu options. So that's those are really the main things you need to know in terms of uh, navigating the screen. So now that we've done that, let's bring our phone back in here and we can walk you through how to adjust your settings to make sure that all the proper notifications come through and we can walk you through how to change the watch face as well. Sometimes I say watch face, sometimes I say clock face, it's the same thing, so hopefully that's not confusing anyone. Okay, so in the app on the main screen, you'll see all the data for the day. I have no data because I just set it up, but here you would see steps and distance and calories burnt. Now we, we wanna go up to the upper left corner and tap on this little icon. And we're gonna go down to Lux. So tap on your Lux. From here, this is where you'll access your different options. So. We want to come all the way down to notifications and first you'll need to enable the notification service so that the you can get notifications from your apps. So tap um, enable and here you can select. So you'll need to select your Fitbit. There you go. Allow, allow, allow. Basically saying Fitbit can access all the data that it's going to be sending to you. 
and here you'll go to text messages and on this phone I only have one text messaging app however if you have multiple apps you use maybe you say I want um, all my WhatsApp messages to come through you can switch it and select that as the messaging app so here you'll have different options based on how many apps you already have downloaded on your phone let's go back you can select what email account you want to send notifications so if you have a Gmail and Outlook and Yahoo you can select which app you want to be the primary app to send you notifications for emails I don't tend to turn on emails because I just get so many so it would be my wrist vibrating all day so I stay away from that but if you don't get that many you may want to turn that on now next you have the app notifications now here you'll get a list of every single app that's on your phone and you'll need to go through and, and select specifically what apps you would like to be able to send you notifications so for example you might say uh, I don't want notifications from OneDrive or um, Samsung Internet, but hey, I definitely want visual voicemail. Yeah, send me a notification if I have a voicemail. Or send me a notification if I get a call here. So you can go through the different apps and you can decide which ones you want to have access to send you notifications. You might set an alarm on your phone. If I select clock, now my phone alarm is going to cause my Fitbit to vibrate as well. So you would definitely want to turn that on. Okay, so let's go back. We've, we've uh, gone through our apps now. Um, I don't use this phone very often, so you're not going to see a lot of apps. Your phone would probably have a lot more apps you need to go through. So I would tell you, don't enable everything because it's just going to be too much stuff vibrating. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so those are the main things you would need to adjust. Now we're going to go back. Now next you want to tap on gallery. We're tapping on gallery because this is how you change the clock face. So it's going to first show us what clock face we're using, which is this one. And then at the top here, tap on clocks. And you can see a lot of the other options that are available. And as I go through, I think I like this one. That one's pretty cool. So you'll tap it and then tap install, give it a few seconds, and then you should see it pop up on the screen once it has been installed. So you usually see the Fitbit icon first, and then you will see um, that new watch face installed. All right, so it took a few seconds, but our new clock face is now installed, and there it is, this looks pretty cool. And now we can go back one step. Now again, keep in mind, as you tap the screen, it is gonna to toggle the different options so you can see you get different data by tapping the screen, just like that. And you have, again, uh, a list of different clock faces available. Not as many as like a Fitbit Versa. There's only, looks like there's only about mm, like 15 or 18. So not that many, but you know, you do have some creative options. So obviously go through, play around, find what would um, give you the data you'd like to see and the look that you're going for. And if we go over to apps here, there's really only a couple of apps that come with it and there are no others available to download. So it is what it is. If we tap on notifications, it's just showing you um, that app, but really you can't make any changes there. So we'll back out of there. And that is really about it that is it so actually one more thing i want to show you if you go to notifications go to quick replies um, this is something that you would want to adjust so if someone calls you this is kind of how it looks um, it'll show the name on the screen and there will be a little green icon and a red icon and by um, moving in the direction of the green will allow you to answer the call from your watch and moving the red icon down will decline the call now there's no speaker on your Fitbit so you can't actually talk on the call from the Fitbit you answering it here will automatically throw the call 
uh, open on your phone. So make sure your phone is around. If not, you're going to answer it and your phone is going to be um, on. Um, but if, if you're not next to your phone, then your phone is just going to be answered and someone's going to wonder why they can't hear you. So you cannot talk again from your Fitbit, um, but you can answer or decline calls. You also have a default replies option as well. So for all these different applications, I can go in and I can select what the default responses would be. So if someone sent you a text, you can have a default option that says, you know, can't talk now, we'll reply later. So um, these are the preset five options, but you can just tap in the box and change it. You know, bye. You know, I had fun. Whatever. I had fun. And now these are going to be your preset options for uh, when you um, get a call and you have to decline it. So that's one more thing you'll want to set up. You can also have your preset emojis as well. Um, these are the five that are programmed, but you can just tap on each one and change it to a different one if you like. So that's the last thing to set up. Um, this is a really uh, basic Fitbit, so there's not a lot of extra you need to do. You know, it's no frills. It's just you got your screen. Uh, thankfully, it does track the heart rate, so that's great. So you'll have that data. And um, that's it. So hope you guys found this helpful. I just wanted to do just a, a beginner's video walking you through the setup, um, pairing it to your phone, what app settings you'll need to tweak to make sure you get all your notifications, and show you how to change the clock face. So again, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you hit that like button if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.